What are the symptoms of dyssynergic defecation? So patients usually present with difficulty with bowel movements. So they may come and say, oh, doctor, I have constipation. So then the onus is on physicians generally to try and find out what exactly is your patient, uh, mean, what patient means by saying constipation. Is it difficulty with bowel movements? Is it infrequency with bowel movements? But when you delve more into their symptoms, 80% or more of these patients spend prolonged periods of time on the toilet. They have to strain excessively to get rid of stool. And even after straining, spending 20, 30, 40 minutes, they feel that they've not completely evacuated their bowel movement. The stools are often very hard. So one of the interesting things is many of these patients come and say, oh, doctor, I have two or three bowel movements a day. And most physicians believe that constipation means infrequent bowel movements. So a patient says, oh, I've got three bowel movements a day, they say, oh, this patient can't be constipated. But indeed they are. They have to go so many times because they're not emptying their stools and they have this constant need or urge to go. Some of them have to use physical maneuvers to pass stool. People adopt different postures on the toilet. Uh, some patients have to really push, push in their vagina, push in the perineum, the area between the uh, vaginal opening and the anal opening, or some people have to physically remove stool. A lot of them have to resort to using enemas and suppositories to either initiate or complete a bowel movement. And the most important telltale sign with these people is none of the usual medications, laxatives, prescription medications work, or they work temporarily. They work for a few weeks and then the problem never responds anymore. So I think it is important that they recognize this problem. It is a common problem, as I said, it affects over one third of the